Hey ya! Welcome back to Wee Hacks. In the spirit of the season, I'm joined today by Aaron. Hello! Thanks for having me! Lately, we've had a lot of community members asking us what our favorite co op games are for the Wii. The Wii has a ton of options in terms of multiplayer games, but we've found that a true co op experience can be a little harder to come by. While some games claim to be co-op, such as the Super Mario Galaxy series, they fall short when it comes to providing an engaging experience for more than just the first player. For this list, we focused on our favorite games where two or more people work towards a shared goal and have equal influence over the gameplay. Since most of the games are from different genres, we've listed them in alphabetical order rather than ranking them from best to worst. So let's fire up a second Wiimote and jump right into it! Boomblocks was the first game that popped into my mind when we started brainstorming titles for this list. It was developed as a partnership between Steven Spielberg and Electronic Arts, which got a lot of attention because it was the first time anybody had seen a major director crossover into game design. Spielberg's intention was to provide a type of game for his kids in which violence wasn't the main focus. It was a noble ambition, but frankly this game has a ruthless difficulty curve and can quickly churn rage-inducing enough to test the strength of even the most wholesome relationships. The game's co-op mode progresses through a variety of first-person physics-based puzzles and shooting gallery type mini-games. Upon revisiting this game for the video, we found that the motion controls are holding up and the game still has a lot to offer even a decade and a half after release. Spielberg's contract with EA encompassed the development of three different titles, so if you enjoy this game, you'll have the sequel to look forward to. Aaron and I will definitely be playing more Boom Blocks in the coming year, and we know you'll have a ball with it too. Tom and I don't usually enjoy side-scrolling platformers, but the option to play co-op in Donkey Kong Country Returns caught our interest. Player 1 controls Donkey Kong while Player 2 is Diddy. Right from the start we thought it was super cool that our characters had different abilities, which set it apart from other co-op games where the players all use the same character. We're looking at you, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, but it did make it to the Wii Hacks Top 10 list, so go check that out. Sometimes the family Kong even works together to solve puzzles and collect hidden items. Which is great, because there are a lot of collectibles in each level. Like, a lot. They give the game an added level of difficulty for a more challenging playthrough and more replayability. Our one critique is that the controls feel a little clunky, since a lot of the movements and attack combinations involve a fair amount of Wii waggling. But it's still a solid entry in the Donkey Kong-verse, and worthy of having a coconut gum on our list. Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube is our favorite racing experience available on the Wii, and in general. Honestly, most of the other titles on this list can be enjoyed in single player or co-op mode, but this is a game where you're probably going to benefit the most from having a skilled co-pilot. Choose from a roster of 20 characters, which pair up into the 10 racing teams of the game. You'll unlock additional characters as you climb the ranks. Each team has its own custom vehicles and specialized weapons, so choose wisely. There are 16 tracks to select from once Special Cup is unlocked. The limited track selection was actually the main source of criticism for the game when it was released. Because fans had waited seven years between Mario Kart 64 and Double Dash. Regardless, it's still the second best-selling game for the GameCube, which makes sense because it's also the first appearance of the absolute best Mario Kart track of all time, Baby Park. Whether you haven't delved into GameCube yet, or you've simply never tried Double Dash, we hope you'll consider this your ticket to ride. If you enjoy side-scrolling platform games, but find that fast-paced titles like Donkey Kong Country Returns aren't really your vibe, maybe you should try Kirby's Epic Yarn instead. We were instantly won over by the amount of cuteness and simplicity of this game. It would be a fantastic option if you had a younger co-op player to entertain, or if you're just looking for something more casual to play during a date night. Aww. Different house decor items can be collected as you play, and brought back to spiff up your very own in-game apartment. They give us a throne in the first level, which makes it my type of game. 
The stylization feels a lot like another co-op game we really enjoyed, Yoshi's Crafted World for the Nintendo Switch, which is considered a spiritual successor to this Kirby game. We both feel that Nintendo is really at its peak when it creates game design from a more conceptual perspective. And this game feels like interactive artwork more than any other title on this list. Okay, so maybe it's a little too cute and goofy for some of the people watching this video, but the controls and hilarious character combinations are so fun that we're sure you'll have a great time spinning the yarn with Kirby. The LEGO series of games for the Wii covers an extensive list of pop culture themes and genres, so all you gotta do is pick your favorite. We've got Pirates of the Sea, Pirates in Space, Pirates of Middle Earth, The Wizarding World of Harry Pirates, Indiana Pirates, oh, and also some Batman. All of these games use a similar formula, so once you've mastered one, you can easily play them all without much trouble. The games are broken up into different scenes which determine the playable characters. Most characters have a different set of attacks and abilities, so you may have to swap around as you work together to accomplish your goals. One of my favorite moments was playing as Hagrid's dog Fang in the first Harry Potter game. If you feel overwhelmed by how many of these games there are, our top three favorites to recommend would be LEGO Batman the video game, Harry Potter years one through four, and Indiana Jones' The Original Adventures. Star Wars The Complete Saga is a solid honorable mention. Lego Batman the video game was probably our standout favorite because once you complete the storyline as the good guys, you get to play as the baddies you've unlocked. Even if you don't consider yourself a super fan of Legos or any of these franchises in particular, there's still hours upon hours of fun to be had when you start putting the pieces together with Lego. There's no shortage of awesome sports games on the Wii. Mario Strikers Charged would be considered one of my favorites. Loosely based on the game of soccer, or football if you're anywhere other than in the US or South Korea, Strikers Charge blends fast-paced sports action with Mario Kart-style item use and quick-time events for special powers. Teams are captained by major franchise characters like Mario and Bowser, and the team's staffed by three sidekicks of your choosing. Each sidekick has their own unique power, as well as team captains having their own unique superpower. There are both exhibition and league play modes, and you can adjust the game length and goals to suit both casual and long-term play styles. To keep things from getting too samey, there's a host of playing pitches, each with starting cutscenes and field hazards. One of the game's shortcomings, according to critics, was its lack of single-player content. Which is good, because what we're recommending it for, it shines in. Multiplayer consists of up to four players in any combination. Two on two, one on three, even four on none. You can play all on the same team against the computer. Oh, and it includes online play, with continuing support from the WimFi service. As far as cooperative games go, you should get a kick out of Mario Strikers Charged. We're both big Pikmin fans, and the idea of being able to play the game together got us super excited. We had no idea that Pikmin 2 had co-op, and after playing it, we quickly figured out why. First, to play co-op together, Challenge Mode has to be unlocked by completing the first quest line in the single-player game. Challenge Mode is a never-ending series of progressively harder levels that only ends when you fail one. Of course, we had it in our heads that we'd be able to play together on the story campaign, but that ended up being not the case. Regardless, being able to play Pikmin cooperatively in any capacity is pretty neat. Real-time strategy games are often competitive rather than co-op, even less so on retro consoles. Cultivate a wonderful cooperative partnership by giving Pikmin 2 a go with a friend. Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort are both competitive head-to-head -head games, for the most part. However, both games offer a small amount of co-op games. All three of them are so fun that they make up for the fact that there are so few of them. Wii Sports gives us tennis, 
which can be considered the most challenging portion of this title depending on who you ask. I'd be inclined to agree. You're capable of playing doubles on the same side. When I tell you the AI playing the other side gets challenging, it's not an understatement. Past a certain point, they're basically the Terminator. Wii Sports Resort has two co-op minigames on offer, and the first is canoeing. We're not sure if this minigame is actually hard, or if we're just interactively challenged. But we've tried this one a number of times, and we've still never managed to pull off doing well at it. Whatever though, it's still good times. The other minigame is cycling, and this could have seriously been a standalone game, it's that good. It lets you race on a tandem bicycle, which is like, what? It looks ridiculous. There are a fair amount of maps to unlock, and all provide a really scenic tour of Woohoo Island. The difficulty curve on these tracks ramps up high, so be ready for some tight muscles. It's difficult to master, but the idea is to pedal at the same time as your partner. Otherwise, you tire much more quickly. The races are long and involve endurance over speed. You certainly don't need us to recommend a game as popular as Wii Sports, but if you somehow haven't experienced racing with a friend on a tandem bicycle, you really should take the Wii Sports series for a spin. Lately, I've been obsessed with Kasumi Totaka. He was the musical director for all the Animal Crossing games, as well as the inspiration for the character K.K. Slider. And when he was given the job of director for the production of Wii Music, he made one of the most genius cooperative concept games ever created. The main mode, called Jam Mode, is about as cooperative as it gets. Pick one of 50 songs, choose a style of song, and then you and a friend can spend a session playing one of six different musical parts. You can play them together, or one at a time. Each play can be recorded and used to accompany the next part you want to play. You can also have a computer player stand in for the instruments you don't want to play, or disable them entirely. Lastly, you choose what stage you want to play on. You can play in a concert hall, on top of a cake, or flying through space. When you're done, you can save your recording, and then turn around and design an album cover for your single. We've spent a lot of time and had a lot of fun populating our music library. If having fun making beautiful music together is your goal, we Music is sure to strike a chord with you. If you're surprised a wrestling game like WWE All-Stars made our list, trust me, we are too. Mostly because neither of us actually like wrestling. But what I do like is Macho Man Randy Savage. I had a lot of fun playing this game by myself in story mode, and it's even more fun as a co-op game. There are a ton of iconic WWE stars to choose from, spanning many decades of the sport. So you can play as everything from Andre the Giant to John Cena. The wrestlers are broken up into four different classes. Grapplers, the big man, brawlers, and acrobats. All classes have advantages and disadvantages, along with needing to be handled differently. A ton of research went into designing each contender's signature moves and fighting style. Each character also features their most memorable costumes, and more are available as unlockable content. At first it seems like it's going to be a button mashing game, but as you learn how to play, you find out that the game's more about perfectly timing your attacks and countering at just the right moment. Nailing some of the more theatrical combinations is extremely satisfying. Even if you're like us and aren't a huge fan of wrestling, WWE All-Stars is still definitely worth getting in the ring for. Thank you very much for checking out our list of 10 must-have cooperative games for the Wii. Hopefully we've introduced you to a game or two that you wouldn't have heard of, let alone tried. But if you feel that we've missed something, please leave it below in the comments or come hang out with us on our Discord. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button and notifications to hear when we come out with new stuff. Links to everything are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Speed and Spielberg. <laughs> Between Stil <sighs> Stilvin. There's no game. No, there's no games. But it's still a solid entry in the Donkey Kong verse and worthy of having a coconut gun on our coconut gun. <laughs> no, you say still worthy of having a place on our list. Oh.